Greetings to internet citizens and welcome to Python training. In this tutorial, we are going to configure another IDE. You can choose any one of them. I prefer Atom, but there are a lot of fans for PyCharm as well. So we are going to learn that how you can configure PyCharm into your operating system. So let's get started. Now, first of all, you need to go ahead and you need to Google that PyCharm. So let's hit the query saying PyCharm and go ahead and click on to the first link which says jetbrains.com forward slash pycharm and click over here and here you need to click on download now now the codes are going to be equally compatible in atom and pycharm you need not to worry about it and you can use any one of these ides that you wish to use there will not be any difference in the code so here you need to click on download which is a free version you can also have a look at the paid version or you can say professional version but right now i would like to go ahead and click on download so the pycharm will start downloading onto your desktop or wherever the destination of download files is there but as of now, I'm just canceling the download of this file because I have this file already onto my desktop to save over time. And you need to just go ahead and double click on the installer. And after double clicking onto the installer, you need to drag this icon into this folder of application. And it is now copying PyCharm into the folder of our applications. So now as you can see that PyCharm is right here under the application or you can even access it from your launcher as well. Here is the PyCharm. So go ahead and click it and let's launch the PyCharm. Let's click on open. Let's click on do not import settings because there isn't any previous installation of PyCharm into this system. Let's go ahead and click on OK. Let's accept the agreement and PyCharm is loading up. You can see that key map scheme is Mac OS X IDE theme is by default. You can even change it and editor colors and fonts. You can change that as well, but I'm going to keep it default as of now and you can enable opening files and projects from the command line as well. So let's go ahead and check this box and let's click on OK. Now let's click on create new project, but before clicking on but before clicking on new project, you need to set your interpreter. So interpreter will help you to execute your code. So we need to click on 3.6, not 2.7 because we are using 3.6 version of Python. Go ahead and click on create. And it will take some time to load up your interpreter for the very first time. And it is also scanning the installed packages. Okay, so finally it is done with completing all the updates of our interpreter. So let's uncheck on this button. I don't want to see the tips anymore. Let's click on next step, next step, next step, or you can rather go ahead and click on close if you don't wish to see the tips. Okay, so great enough. You can even open your own project file as well, or you can go ahead and like Atom, you can click on new and you can click on file and you can give the file name as first file dot py and click on OK. So exactly like Atom, this is the text space where you can write the commands. So I'm going to write here as print hello world and I'm going to run this program to see if everything is working fine. And if I click on run and yes, first file run, then you can see that hello world is successfully printed right here. So now you can even change the font size and you can make rest of the changes by going on to the PyCharm community edition, then click on preferences. And here you can make some real good edits like the appearance and you might want to go into the editor font, let's say size of the font 218 and let's click on OK. So you can see that the size of the fonts has increased. So likewise, you can make the edits into the PyCharm as well. And that's really fine if you work on Atom or PyCharm, that is going to be the same thing because after all, the code that you're writing into the Python is going to be same. 
So you can choose any of these two editors and I would like to use Atom but you can also use PyCharm as well. There is hardly any difference in those. And that's it for this movie. Thank you so much for watching.